to Read at Homestead and welcome to a new location that you have never seen before. I am actually at my in-laws house and my mother-in-law has asked me to help her find the perfect backsplash for her kitchen. So their kitchen is a really beautiful be to begin with. They have custom cabinetry in here. We're of course gonna be leaving the cabinets, leaving the existing countertops. So the task at hand here is finding a tile that really complements the way the kitchen currently looks and something that's gonna complement the rest of their house and really just be a classic timeless look for this space. So we have tons of tile shopping to do. I have a fun, a couple fun DIYs to share with you that's gonna be happening in this space. So without further ado, let's get started. So if you guys caught my last vlog, you saw me do tons and tons of tile shopping. And one of the spaces I was shopping for was the kitchen. And I ended up finding the most beautiful tile that I am so excited about, my mother-in-law is so excited about. And it is the Clara Tile by Bedrosians. It comes in a couple different colors, but we landed on the shade Ivory because it's just this really beautiful, warm white tile that's not a yellow white, it's not a cool tone white, it's just right there in between and her countertops have actually a lot of white fleck in them so I feel like this is really going to help to pull that white fleck out and make that stand out a little bit more and also make the whole space just feel more modern and updated and still very traditional at the same time so because her countertops are really busy we don't want to do a really busy you know backsplash so we're just going to lay it in a classic subway tile pattern and I think it's just going to be so so beautiful and what I love about this tile is that it's unique in shape because it's like two and a half inches tall by 11 inches wide. So it's, you know, longer in nature and it just is gonna feel very modern but timeless. Oh, it's gonna be so good. So Mark and I are headed to go pick up the tile now and I cannot wait to see this tile installed. I love this store so much. They have the best stuff here. Don't they literally have like the best tile ever? They really do. Oh, it's Fantastic. so pretty. I could just spend all day looking at tile and looking at granite, looking at countertops oh, really? like, so the whole day. <laughs> So we've been talking about what would we wanna do with this window here? Do we wanna tile on the inside of it? Do we wanna tile up around it? What are kinda, of, you know, there's a lot of different options on how we would want this space to look. And what my mother-in-law and I have decided on is I'm going to trim out this window and that way the tile can actually just butt up next to it with a nice transition. Um, I'm, we're gonna bring the backsplash just up to this point um, so basically right where it would meet from underneath the cabinets and carry over. We are decided that we're not gonna carry it all the way up around the window, but I think adding some just simple trim to this space is really gonna help the window pop. I think this will be a really nice option to upgrade the way that this space looks. So here in Arizona, it's very common to have texture on the walls, heavy texture. We kind of call this orange peel in Arizona. I'm not sure what it's called other places, but the window does have this texture on the inside as well. And I think to really kind of elevate the way that this is gonna look, I'm going to go ahead and trim out the inside of the window as well as around the window. So that way you're not gonna see any of that texture. That way it doesn't kind of look like an afterthought. It looks like it's always been there. lot of different ways that you can trim out a window to cover up that texture. One of the most popular ways I've seen is to use really thin um, plywood or use really thin, uh, you know, a really thin piece of material, eighth inch thick, maybe a quarter inch thick, something like that um, to cover up that texture. We are going to be doing something similar today, but we are going to be using quarter inch MDF, which I'm very excited about, but you can also skim coat the inside of the windowsill as well. But I just have a little trick that I want to try that I hope will kind of make it look a little bit more elevated. So to do that, I've got this quarter inch MDF that is, it comes in these two by four foot sheets. I didn't find it in four by eight foot sheets, I think because it's so thin that, I don't know, maybe when you get it that big, it would be just susceptible to breaking. But this is kind of over in like, the little hobby board area. It has smaller sheets of plywood, smaller sheets of just different types of material. And I was just excited to find this. So 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get these ripped down to size uh, of the inside width of what the windowsill is there. And I think it's gonna look really pretty. Isn't this like the best setup ever? The best. Like this, these tabletops that like adjust, I can do up and down whatever I want. These are probably the best thing I've ever bought in my life because then we can just roll them out here. And if I was doing something really big, I could have support like going both ways, like behind the table saw and in front. I just love it, it's the best. If I did my job correctly and I measured correctly, then this should fit perfectly. Ooh, it's a little snug. In there. Ah. Ah. Well, did you have a look at that? Perfect. Perfect fit. This looks so cute already. I cannot believe how much just one little board makes a difference. So I did leave these pieces here a little bit long so that I can cut them down to size. The one thing I am noticing here is that I have more of a gap on this side than I do this side. Let me show you guys. So if you look on this side, it's nice and tight to the wall. There's like teeny tiny bit of a gap there, um, but this is perfectly tight. So I don't wanna adjust that at all. And then over on this side, nice and tight in this corner, but then it flares out this way. So sometimes walls are just, wonky like that. I could like scribe the board, but honestly, what I'm thinking, and I have a piece of our backsplash right here that we're gonna be using. I'm thinking that the backsplash is, oh yeah, it is going to cover any gap that I have here on the side. It's going to completely cover that without going behind it. So yeah, it's gonna work great. Ah, I love it already. to check the progress of the tile being installed. Um, Mark's sister text and said that the tile is being installed right now. So I'm so pumped to go see it in place. They made so much progress on the tile. It's actually all done at this point and they're gonna come back tomorrow and grout everything. We went with a white grout, which I think is really just gonna help everything to just stay nice and light and bright in here. If we had done darker grout, this is kind of your opportunity to see what that would look like, but I definitely think the white grout is gonna be beautiful. I still have to finish painting and caulking and sanding this window here, but I just love the way that this is all framed out in here now. I think it looks so pretty. It's also so fun to see, you know, professional tile work, what they do. I was curious on how they would do this corner and they kind of just like inner stacked the tile. So that was kind of interesting. Also interesting how they do the edges and everything like that. And they did take all the tile up underneath here. And then over here as well, we have tile in this spot. I think it looks so good. While the backsplash has been getting installed, I have actually been working on their bathroom, their guest bathroom. So I'm working on that. And then after that, I also have their laundry room that I'll be working on. So 
This has really helped us keep projects moving along because I've still had lots of other things to work on, but I am loving the transformation in here so far. Oh, it looks so good. So you guys might be wondering why I didn't lay the backsplash and it's because I'm working on so many other projects at the same time and there's only one of me. <laughs> only one of me and it takes me a while to get through things especially a kitchen um, backsplash it would take me quite a long time compared to how some tile installers can knock it out in a day or two you know what I mean so um, we chose to have this part done so that way I could tackle some of the other spaces in her home simultaneously so she's just getting a whole makeover at once which is so fun we got news that the grout was all done and my mother-in-law is putting her kitchen back together. <laughs> She's very excited. <laughs> so we're gonna go over there and see the completed look. I think it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be gorgeous. <laughs> it looks so oh, good. Looks really good. I love it. Wow. So yeah, we went with the white grout here. I actually, it's just the shade white um, by Maype. I'm probably gonna say that wrong. Maype. <laughs> Not <laughs> you say it. Something. But what's so great is um, that specific line of grout doesn't have to be sealed and it's resistant to stains, all the things. So I know that white grout seems, you know, a little scary. Well, everyone, but everyone, even the installers before they started putting it in, they said, are you sure you want to go white on white? So white tile with yes. white grout because it's a lot of white. Yeah. And we're like, yeah. Absolutely. Well, Kyra yeah. said, yeah, do it. And you know, as they installed, what'd you say? As yeah. they were installing? They, as they were installing it, they said, oh my gosh, we've been able to see so much more of all the white fleck that's in the countertops as we've pulled, like as, as we keep going, it just kind of keeps pulling more and more of that kind of lighter tones out oh. of the countertop. And it looks so good. I think it looks so beautiful. It looks so crisp, so clean, yeah. so luxe, and it just really brightens the entire room. You wouldn't yes. think that adding spec backsplash really affects the room, but it does. Just this strip mm -hmm. all the way around, I mean, it's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it made it feel so much oh, brighter man, in I here. Love it. love it. And I know she loves it. She said that a couple times yeah. already during install. She's already started putting stuff out because she's getting ready. She's to be ready. Decorated. She's ready to be so. nesting and putting it all back together. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It, it looks beautiful though. It's time to get this window here painted. And because I did the inside of the trim, framed it out with MDF. I need to use a different primer in order to paint it because MDF is really, really porous. Um, so I am actually gonna be using this um, Zinzer primer and this is the shellac base. So when I did my dad's barn doors that we did, if you guys remember that sometime last year, big black, beautiful, beautiful barn doors that we made and they were made out of MDF and I had the hardest time painting them and it was come to find out, A, cause it was way too hot um, and I had to like, if you guys saw that video, you know what I'm talking about. And also I used the wrong primer. So I was having a really hard time with the paint. So I'm gonna try this primer instead. I've heard good things with MDF, painting it with this instead. So we're gonna give it a go. I got the window all painted and I think it looks so beautiful. I love it. It's amazing how much just some simple trim really can make a difference and really just help to define this whole entire space. Of course, the backsplash with it just pulls the whole thing together, but I love the way that it turned out. And the reason, I don't think I shared with you guys, but the reason I wanted to do the quarter inch MDF was so that I could leave this little reveal here um, where the trim would sit. I feel like it just looks a little bit more high end this way instead of just having them flush up next to each other. There's no right or wrong, but I love the way that it turned out. This turned out so beautiful. My mother-in-law loves her new kitchen so much. She's wanted backsplash for a really long time. So this is a real treat for her and she just loves her new space now. And this was so much fun creating it for her. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I have so many more makeovers coming over here. We're working on the laundry room and also guest bathroom for her. So stay tuned for those videos. We are not done yet. Thank you for being here and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.